you know, the Mike Fisher, when it, during his confirmation hearings, there was considerable discussion about this lawsuit that he had against him. Senator Leahy out of Vermont in particular was concerned and he talked about it on the floor. And they talked about how they, cut, they, wanted, they wanted to bring in these narcotic agents. And I believe that they wanted to bring Don Bailey in before the Senate and to have them testify about this. And for some, through some procedural rule or mechanism or somehow, they cut off all debate on that. They passed Mike Fisher with a million and a half dollar jury verdict against him for violating an individual citizen's American rights. He, his reward was becoming. A, a I explain it, what the process and on the federal level, you know, the the Constitution says, you know, appointed by the president on advice and consent of the Senate. I guess that's that's the exact language. The way it typically works is the senators from the state, Pennsylvania. Uh, in our case, Casey and Toomey, uh, for judicial vacancies that come up in their state, they have they kind of put the names before the president or they before the, or whoever you know, and the president will say okay. And I, I don't know how much review actually the president does at these levels. Uh, of course, when it's United States Supreme Court, you know, it'll do a, a much more thorough vetting. Uh, maybe Court of Appeals a little bit more significant, but district court level. You know, it's pretty much the senators from that state pick who's going to get those positions. Um, <clears throat> and then it's just a confirmation process. You know, you go and you have your, they do your FBI background checks, and then you go for a, a hearing before the, uh, I guess, you know, the Judiciary Committee's, um, Senate Judiciary Committee. And then they put you to a full vote. And then after the full vote, uh, then it's up to the, the, you know advice and consent of the president. No, so once the president makes the appointment, the senate makes it approve, and once it's approved, and these are all these are all political appointments. No, no election involved at the federal level. So he had this civil. It was not a criminal case. It was a civil case against. He was a defendant. Yeah. Right. A Honestly, I you office know I. Of yeah. Office, he, yeah. And he was still able to become a judge. Yeah. Mike Fisher retaliated against whistleblowing cops as attorney general, got whacked by a jury for it who said, no, sir, you violated the law. And his reward by his political cronies was a seat on the, uh, on the bench uh, one step below the United States Supreme Court. That's the reality of that situation. And that verdict shocked, sent a shockwave. And I wish I had it here. There used to be a memo, Don got it anonymously, an email circulated through the state system and we had it hanging on that wall right down inside that door and we were doing some painting or something and I think it got misplaced. But it said, Bailey has caused a shit storm in Pennsylvania. And that's what it was. After this, this Fisher verdict, even though not a single Pennsylvania citizen heard about it, you didn't hear, it wasn't, you know, I, I think that the, the Patriot News had a little one paragraph thing on it about what came down. This thing should have had national coverage, honestly. He was a Democrat? He's a Republican. All the Attorney Generals are Republicans. Um, but you didn't, you know, you, you didn't hear a whisper about that. And I, and I kind of forget what my point was. But the point is, you know, it is offensive to the highest degree that a jury of American citizens, a jury, I mean, this is the heart of the judicial process, getting cases in front of a jury. And that jury came back pretty quickly. And a million and a half dollar verdict in central Pennsylvania in a case like this is, is, is a huge, huge verdict. Let me ask you a question. Let, let, me, let me just finish my point. Um, and, you know, under all those circumstances, after that jury spoke so resoundingly, for this judge to get elevated to the, that court, and then that very court is the court that undid that jury verdict, and then his colleague goes to the Supreme Court. I mean, it's just, it's just absolutely repugnant. These, these I, you know, I, again, I, I could be a lot more aggressive than what I've been saying here, but here's what my view is. These guys are taking oaths to something other than the con they're, they're, they're serving something other than the United States Constitution. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's just the acculturation. I don't know if this good old boys network thing, you know, just takes hold of their hearts and souls and turns them into something that they're not. But they are not upholding the Constitution of the United States of America. It's really that simple. I call it the cult of the Bar Association. It is a cult. But doesn't the Constitution say that no jury uh, verdict shall be overturned? 
Mm, no. It's in there. Well, I'll have to. Pennsylvania Constitution? What? No. The U.S. Constitution. Our no jury. You, anyone can get a jury trial for anything, any dispute over $20. Number one, that's, that's been Shoot um, that common that's law. Been denied me. And don't worry, they'll edit me out. I know, but, but you and I are I'm having discussions. Okay. Right. Okay. Um, it says that no, no one can overturn a jury verdict. And yet they're overturning. They overturned a jury verdict. And yeah. how did this come? It I, I don't think it's. A, I, but we'll we'll okay. But that's. I mean, arguing a point like that. Somehow it's digital. But arguing it anywhere. I mean, we're. I got people downstairs waiting. You know, to to you know argue debatable points at this point. Um, but yeah. Any other questions? I have a million. But yeah. I'm not going to ask you now, because these people are downstairs, and I may have to go soon. Okay. So. Um, I can't get this up, but I was going to leave you some stuff. I'll email it to you. I may already have. Do you want to? Do you want to? I I don't know if I have time to do it now. Well, then 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 fire me a couple more questions if you don't want to do it. I, That's I, why I'm, I'm I'm trying to bring it in. I'm really pissed at yeah. Jr. I wish that guy was still here. Yeah. Do you know how to pause this? I am kind of clueless on anything. No, you know what? Let's just get some more. Let's. I, I'm going to wrap up right now. Let's get some more people up here, and uh, and keep going with this. I don't know how you can pause that. Yum, yum. Let's see how the power appears in the menu.